Hey everyone, it's Jeannie from Makers Unify, and today I'm going to show you how I upcycle a cigar box into a jewelry box. So after I sanded the box down, I wiped it down to make sure I got all the dust off of it. And I'm going to take these dowel rods and cut them to fit into the middle of each of these slats. So using a pair of needle nose pliers, I'm going to go ahead and cut where my marking is. And then I'm going to take sandpaper and soften up the edge where I had cut. So after I cut all these and I set them in there to make sure they fit well, I will take my E6000 glue and glue them in so that I know that they're nice, tight, and secure. As you can see, I keep going back over the edge to sand it uh, to make it fit. I want to make sure that the, the um, dowel rod sits in there very tight. So now I will remove the dowel rods from each slat, in between each slat, and go ahead and use the E6000 glue to glue them on. You'll have to excuse my raspy voice. Um, I'm just getting over COVID about a week ago, and anyone who's had it probably had the bad hacking cough that goes along with it, unfortunately, and I'm still um, getting over that. So you'll have to excuse my raspy voice. So now I'm just going to paint the box inside and out. I'm not going to paint the slats because that area is going to get the, uh, the packing, the light packing foam and the black material. So now I take Modge Podge and I'm going to put a pretty heavy coat in between the slats and on top of the slats and the dowel rods so that when I put this packing material in and push it down with another dowel rod, uh, it'll make it nice and secure inside there. And then I'll go over the, the top of it <coughs> Excuse me, with uh, some more uh, Mod Podge to make sure that it's in there really good. And I'm just going to trim things up as I go along. I'm just kind of eyeballing this whole thing. That didn't really take any good measurements because as I'm pushing it down in between all the slats, it's kind of hard to determine how much material I'm actually going to need. And I do end up uh, running out at the end and having to um, cut another piece, but that's okay. It's the bottom layer. No one's going to see any kind of seam or anything with this. So what this packing foam material does, it gives the uh, little bit of a cushion over the dowel rods and gives it more of a, a softer shape so that when I go to put the black material over it and push that in, then there's spots for, the, uh, for you to put your rings in. 
So I went ahead and cut out the black fabric. Um, just I did take measurements, but it's kind of eyeballing it too. And I'm going to go ahead and put the Mod Podge in between the slats again and take this black material using another dowel rod and pushing it down in between the slats. I did end up taking some sandpaper and sanding the edges of the inside of the box because it was not closing that well. Um, it didn't close very tight to begin with. So this, I'm trying to just ease it up a little bit and it, the paint was thick on some spots. So uh, this way it'll close a little bit better. So now I am online at the Graphics Ferry. I'm a member there and I'm looking for printables um, that I want to cut out and mod podge onto the box. And of course, while I'm crafting, I always seem to have to watch something. So right now I am watching Better Call Saul. I just started it. I think I'm on season three right now. So uh, it's got me hooked. I went ahead and printed off what I thought I wanted. I always print off more than I probably need. I could use it at another time, but I like to have everything in front of me so I can see what I like and pick through what I want to use. So I decided to go with this for the top and I'm just gonna go ahead and trace it and cut it out and mod podge it on. So now comes the fun part of picking out what I want to put on it. I actually picked up this brooch the other day at a garage sale. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the, the pin on the back and just lay this on top and then just go through the other pieces that I have, the other prints that I printed off. Um, I have a bunch of, um, what's it called, Emfirma? Emf Emf um, from the uh, from Tim Holtz's ideology, so I'm going to go through some of that and see what I want to put on. Um, this is one of the printables I had, and I kind of you know tore it around the corner to make it look um, kind of distressed, I guess. And these are some flowers that I've had on hand. I have a, a whole bunch of di different emphyrma, to, different pieces to use. Um, so I'm just laying it out, seeing what I like and I'm going to go ahead and glue it on. Uh, for this piece I wanted to go ahead and crumple it up and make it look a little bit uh, a little older, aged a little bit so a little distressed. So this is the fun part and just you know kind of put on here what looks good to you and um, have fun with it. You'll have to let me know what your creative process is. Um, like I said, for me, I like to have everything in front of me so that I can go through it and kind of see what I like and see what, um, I don't know, kind of makes me happy, brings me joy, um, and pick it out and kind of lay it around and um, see what looks good. Probably looks pretty chaotic with what I'm doing here, but it all comes together very nicely. Um, I do use E6000 on the brooch to glue it on, but as you know, E6000 takes a long time to dry. So I do go back and uh, put some um, hot glue on it so that the hot glue will help it adhere faster and then the E6000 will make it more secure as that one dries. And the other glues I'm using uh, for the thicker pieces, I use a tight bond, quick and thick. And then for more of the, the paper, the thinner paper, I use the Scotch uh, glue pen. 
um, which is comes in very handy. It has like a, a sponge end, and then it also has the other end is more of a like a line. You can draw a line. So I did end up taking, the, I had a bigger printout of the, it's called trios, um, that I had crumpled up. I also have a bigger piece and I'm going to cut that down to size and put that on the inside of the box, the upper inside of the box. So this is a uh, print off of some music and I'm going to put it on the inside here. Um, I do decide it's a little bit too big so I just go ahead and rip it and put a small piece in here. And just like I did the top of the box I'm going to just go through what I have and see what I like. Anything that has glue smushing out at the sides, I'll go back and clean that up before it dries. Uh, put in it, looks like an old stamp, and uh, just a card there, it's like a little, like old fashioned coupon. Um, it says two, two, one half coupons on it. And then I have this paper flower, uh, kind of crunched up the sides to puff it out a little bit. And I'll just put some tight bond on there and glue it on the inside of the box there. So now I'm going to decorate the inside bottom part of the box. I'm going to go ahead and glue in some uh, flowers. And then I'm going to take this wording from the Tim Holtz Ideology sticker pack and that one says that shine and sparkle. I thought that was a good one for inside of the jewelry box. And then I don't like how the edges turned out with the material. There's, there's some of the dowel rods that are still showing. So I have this black, <clears throat> excuse me, thin ribbon and I'm just going to go ahead and glue that around um, three of the sides. And then I have this um, what would you call this? This pearl. <laughs> this like pearl ribbon that I'm going to go ahead and glue that around on top of the black ribbon. And then for the outside edges, I take some of this ivory ribbon and glue that on. And then I decide I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Mod Podge another print out on the bottom. So here I am cutting it out and Mod Podging it on. And now I'm going to put some uh, ribbon on the bottom edge of the box. And then just for the fun of it, on the bottom, I decided to put some more word stickers. Uh, there's, I put learning to fly, she stood her ground, uh, something good is about to happen, do all the good you can, and they now stand right on the brink. These are from the sticker pack from Tim Holtz. And so now I'm all done and we can watch a quick, a quick cleanup and then I'll show you the finished product at the end. So 
one here is the finish, finished product. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think it's really cute. Uh, makes a great ring box. I'll probably end up giving it to my daughter. So tell me what you think in the comments. Give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching and have a DIY day.